Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review. So, as you guys know, I love Tetella Knights. Uh, I think they're awesome. I like stars, and, uh, you know, the original three were, like, based off of one, uh, a common Rider. So, yeah, that's the reason why for Tetella Knights, uh, for Tuesday, Sunday, the Duels, that's the reason that thumbnails that. Like, literally, if you if you really want to know uh, what's up with that whole thing, you have to watch the first episode that Tetella Knights were on Daily Duels. But, uh, for those of you guys know, uh, it's based off of, uh, well, common Rider Zeronis is based off of those three, Deneb. Altair and uh, and uh, and Vega, so uh, but they just keep on making new Teller Knights, so that's good. So I'm glad that the deck is still getting some more support. I'm gonna make it as a fun deck in real life. So like literally the deck that I've been using on daily duels that it's been uh you know it's been winning. It's been doing really well. Uh, it's not competitive, you know. It doesn't have all that you know jerky back row, you know, be mean to my opponent. You know, the most background got is Nova, but um, yeah, I'm planning on making that deck in real life. So. You know, I'm totally just for, you know, Teller Knights getting more support, and I'm having fun with the deck. So, you know, when I see Teller Knights getting more support, I'm just like, yay, more support. So let's go ahead and see. Hopefully they get some more good stuff. So uh, today we are actually looking at to Teller Knight Rigel. I, I guess it's, or Rigel? I, th I think it's Rigel. Yeah, Rigel. So um, he is a light warrior effect, level 4. 1900 attack and 700 defense, so highest attack so far out of the Teller Knight monsters. He's uh, 100 attack higher than um, Ukulele, Unukula Hall, or whatever, Nukula High, or however you pronounce that fucking fucker's name. So, uh, so nice attack, 19, nice 1900 beater, so, you know, if you know, your opponent is uh, giving you a hard time with, uh, with a Thunder King Ryo, you can always just summon this guy and uh, crash. But uh, let's read its effect, because you might be able to do more than that. So, his effect is... When this card is summoned, you can target one Telenite monster on the field. It gains 500 attack, but it is sent to the graveyard during the end phase. You can only use the effect of the Telenite ritual only once per turn. Why? Why? What? What is up with this? All right, I'm getting that you target a Telenite monster so it can target itself and can go up to 24, which is a, you know a nice tap. But why does the monster have to be destroyed during the end phase? You know, for for an effect that mediocre, I don't understand why why the monster has to die. You know. Gaining 500 attack and the monster has to die. You know, freaking freaking Altair summons the monster from the graveyard and, and that monster doesn't die or Altair doesn't die. Freaking Deneb searches and Deneb doesn't die. Vega summons from the hand and that doesn't die. Like I don't understand why boosting by 500 attack has to make the monster die during the end phase. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me, Konami. But um, you know, so it of course can target itself. So it can go up to a 24 beater. Um, I find this useful. I find this useful. Because um, one of the matchups that uh, Teller Knights, of course, have to face is um, Ishidals. And, uh, you know, you know, Ishidal, they gave Teller Knights a nice fuck you to go against Ishidal, which, of course, being Constellar Knight Diamond. But, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult to summon Constellar Knight Diamond when your opponent uh, summons a freaking Winda and is staring you down with a Winda. So, you know, generally, what the fuck are you going to do against a Winda? You kind of just sit there and you're just like, uh. I don't know, twiddle my thumb. I hope I got a call the haunted during the end phase, because if not, you know, I'm in some deep shit. So, um, here comes, uh, uh, Rigel here to save the day, because he was like, um, yeah, normal summon, what I'm summoning, I'm going to increase my attack by 500, bam, 24, slap that window, get the fuck out of here. So, nice, I like, I like how this guy answers window, but I just don't understand the why, the whole, like, oh, it's destroyed during the end phase. I don't, I don't get that. It's sent to the graveyard. Not destroyed. It's sent to the graveyard during the end phase. I don't understand that. You know? If anything that should send the monster to the graveyard during the end phase, it should be Altair. Like, you know, Altair, you know, summon the monster, I guess, get its effect. But then send it, you know, during the end phase. So, you know, if you don't exceed with it, you know. But, no. If anything, it should be Altair. Not, not, not Rigel here. But I like him. I like him. You know? Is he, you know, uh, the tits? Is he the Teller Knights that, you know... That will be winning you games, like, no, no, but, uh, he's nice, I, I would play one of them, I would, I would, because he's safe, you know, with triple Deneb and triple Rota, you know, it's a safe play, you know, or maybe side him, maybe side him, you know, if you're going against, uh, Shadal's side him, and then he can, he can save your ass, because, you know, the Shadal players, that's literally what they're gonna do, you know, they're gonna summon wind on you, and they're gonna be like, ha, GG, and you'll be like, um, uh, no, uh, Rigel, attack over it, so, I definitely like this guy. I definitely, definitely like this guy. So, um, you know, uh, is he as useful as the other ones? No, but he does have a spot in the Tetelanite lineup. You know, I know that uh, 
you know, Sanji Sigma was just sitting there saying that how ass and how trash he is, but he has a place, and that his job, take out that window. That is your job. So, yeah. All right, so tell me what you guys think about Rigel in the comment section below. Like I said, going up to 2,400. Not bad, not bad. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. We are looking at another Telenite monster, the other one, in uh, Secrets of Eternity, and determining whether uh, he's good as well. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, next Tuesday uh, looking at the next Telenite monster. All right, thanks for watching.